Hello and welcome back to Oddcraft. In this second episode, I'll show you how to prepare sprites for the animation process. First, you'll need a sprite sheet. I grabbed this one from the Spriters resource website. A sprite sheet is basically one image that contains all the frames of a character or an object for animation. Since we're working with classic video game graphics, those frames are going to be pixelated. The goal is to import the sheet into a program and crop out only the frames that we need. In the past you could use something simple like Microsoft Paint. Even Preview on Mac can be used for this. But today better tools exist like Libre Sprite or A Sprite. As I mentioned my go-to is Resprite. So let's open it. Now from the top menu you have to tap Import. Now you can import different kinds of files but we're bringing in the sprite sheet as an image. So we're gonna select that and you just have to find it on your device and then select it. Now let's see, in my case, we're gonna select this one, open, and there we go. Now Resprite will suggest splitting this sheet into several tiles, which can be useful, but that's not what we want here. Instead, we'll import the entire image as, in, uh, as a single frame. Now you just have to check that option right here, and then you just hit import. And it's done. The sprite sheet is now ready. Now most uh, pixel art apps gonna handle this step in a similar way. You should be able to do this in any kind of uh, pixel art program. Most pixel art apps share the same basic tools. For this video we only need a couple. I'll cover the rest in a future episode on customized sprites. The key ones here are the select tool, either as a rectangle selection or as a freehand lasso. That looks like this or the magic wand which lets you pick one specific color inside your image now there's also the move tool this one lets you move your image around the canvas there you go and then down here is the timeline where you can animate the pixel graphics frame by frame there's also what we call layers you can have several layers but we're gonna keep things simple and just work with one layer and then we're just gonna add frames only when it's needed. Now let's grab a small set of sprites that form an animation. For example, mm, yeah, Sonic Whistling. All right, uh, we're gonna use the rectangle tool and we're gonna highlight those frames. Give me a second. All right, this should be good enough. Okay. For the next step, you could actually go ahead and uh, crop out the rest of the image. So we can do this by going to Sprite and then you can crop to selection. This will delete the entire sprite sheet except for the selection. But we won't do that. So you can do you can undo this. Instead, we're gonna look at the selection. We're gonna take note of the the dimensions. So in width it's 160 and in height it's 43. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this selection. Now if you go back here to the upper left uh, box, you can see there's a copy uh, button, you hit it, then you're going to press gallery on the top left corner and we're going to create a new sprite. So you press this button on the upper right, we can name this new sprite Sonic Whistling. It's not needed but why not. And then we're going to have to enter the dimensions of the selection which was 160 and 43, right? Then you're gonna create, there you go. And all you need to do now is just paste your selection and voila, <laughs> it's done. You have now pasted your selection into a new sprite image. Here's a common question. How do you remove the background color? You know, the color that's here everywhere around the sprites? Now this is where the magic wand comes in handy. You can select it, make sure the contiguous function is turned off and then you're just gonna have to select the color, in this case it's purple and you just delete it with this button up here and then of course if there are multiple solid colors you select it and then you just delete it, repeat the process until they're all erased. Perfect. Now next we're gonna separate the sprite frames on the timeline but first we're gonna have to reduce the canvas size so that we only focus on one sprite at a time. For this you go to uh, settings and then sprites and then you go to canvas size and we're gonna reduce it to about, let's say, 40, 40. 40 should be good. All right, okay, so this looks uh, promising. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the move tool 
and we're gonna position Sonic in a good position more or less I think this is alright and now comes uh, the, the work you have to add a new sprite and you're gonna have to move you're gonna have to move the next one into position and for that to help you you can use the onion skin right here in the on the right you select it and now you're gonna have a sort of a transparent overlay of the previous frame this will help you to position the sprite correctly like this there we go and then you just repeat the process you add a new frame you move the sprite and you line it up once your sequence is done clean up the stray pixels that are on the left and the right with the rectangle selection and then you just delete it Now you can play back the animation to check if everything looks right. Let's see, press play on this above the timeline. Okay, don't worry about timing, we'll fix that later in the animation process. But I see there's one pixel I missed, which is just about here. Let me use the selection tool for now and then delete it. Perfect. Now finally, you can export the sequence. For this you just go to settings again and you hit export and you choose sprite sheet PNG now once you hit that make sure that all the frames are selected not just the current frame but all of them and I also recommend that you uh, export as individual images uh, just to make sure that you're not on normal but instead in individual images it's easier afterwards for the animation software and then you're just gonna hit export and you save anywhere you want on your device and then you're done your sprites are now ready for animation. And this covers everything for prepping the sprites. In the next video I will start with the animation process but also explain some generalities of 2D animation. If you have questions leave them in the comments and if you like this and want to follow the series consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next installment. And with that have fun and I'll see you next time.